I have one of the funniest clips, ladies and gentlemen, to show you. Now, if you don't know who this lady is, like a date, like a mini date. neither do I, but let, let's 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 just let's not beat around the bush here. I'm sure her bush is massive, but, 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 uh, but she is clearly not very attractive. I mean, neither am I. That's how I can say it. I'm like a solid three. If I brush my bloody pubes the right way, I go up to a four, all right? But this lady, she even a lady? This human being right here is a solid. <laughs> no, I'm sure she gets on the score. Go back. I'm not your typical 10, baby girl, you don't even round up to 10, like what the hell, if you doubled your digits in plus 20, you would not still be there, you are not a 10. So like, what are, looks like everything to you, like what is the vibe? Not everything, but it plays a big part. For sure, well with that being said, you can take your blindfold off. Oh fuck no, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> I can't deny, but that's probably what I would do. I'd probably be a bit more awkward about it and be like, oh god. What is this creature I've been putting forward? But anyway, to the real deal, the big spiel. Fuck me, Netflix. You know, have you ever been robbed, held at gunpoint, you know, stabbed to death, then had your wallet taken and somehow you survived because someone gives you CPR, gives you lip to lip and... <laughs> Breathe in your mouth and suddenly you find your hip wounds healed, shit like that. But Netflix keep raising their prices and I think I'd rather be robbed first hand than give this dumb bitch any more money. I mean, Netflix has been dying. It's like a, it's like a dead seal on the beach and it's like put you push it in the water to see if it's going to resurrect and see if it, and it just keeps floating. And then suddenly a big shark comes and eats it and you just see the blood everywhere. It's not a good sight. Netflix is a serious joke. And after all the acting, you know, when strikes about getting fair play and fair pay, fair play, fair pay for acting actors and people who are actually starring in it. You could pay seven seven dollars and you can have ads. Now who the frick wants to watch Netflix in ads is bad enough. You know, half the Netflix shows you have to pretend that you like. Like what is the last thing that was good? The only thing I like about Netflix is they somehow managed to put all the Harry Potters on at once and I managed to get through them all in a net like three days. It was an absolute triumph. I was caffeinated out of my eyeballs. I had less friends for that three days than I think a penguin does in the fucking Sahara Desert. But I was on it mate. Every Harry Potter was watched it was sensational <laughs> or you can go to the standard tier standard so you'll be like a normie you know what i mean a bit of a normal a normal human being who knows what you get you probably don't get much but that's 15 dollars 49 this price will remain f the same going forward for now for customers on a basic plan which you can no longer sign up to so they used to have something called a basic plan for you poor povos you poor people you you gutter trash you know the people who have families to feed but still want to entertain their kids you know have you ever met someone who doesn't have netflix a serious question i know a lot of people pike it, I pike it, you know. Off my parents though, it's slightly different when it's your family, isn't it? You know what I mean? They they, they want to give me it. They wouldn't get their money's worth if it wasn't for me. And I know I just talked crap, but the one show I did actually really like recently was that One Piece. I have to admit, that was really, 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 really entertaining. And I love the murder documentaries and the real life stuff. Whatever. The problem Netflix don't understand though, is when they keep increasing prices like this, and they say, okay, it's going to be 11 99 and then in a year's time it'll be 14 99 You know, the mo monthly subscription price jumping from 19 to 22 quid 22 dollars bro 22 dollars 20 percent 15 percent hike fuck that bro i'm just gonna they don't understand yeah exactly loads of other services have gone up but they don't understand netflix don't understand this at all they have a serious problem is that you can literally search online any film and you can watch it for free no way dude you might get a virus, but you know, if you watch it on an iPad or an iPhone or something, they don't get a viruses, bro. They need to understand this. Just people are going to be like, well, why am I paying for this shite? I watch like one TV show a year. It's usually crap. You know, like they pump out so much garbage. That's why they have to increase their prices because everyone hates it. I mean, let, let's have an investigation. Netflix. Fli fuck. F uh, or original. Originals. Only on. See, so I love it when people put only on. It's like, you know, when you see a trailer and it's like, they got the sports, football, soccer, American baseball, brought to you only on Horizon. You know, whatever it is. And everyone in the background is like, I could list you three websites that I could watch you for free. It's not only on there. Okay, it's not. But I'm not promoting that. But let's have a look at this garbage trash. Now, I am a football fan. That David Beckham documentary is a very good watch. If you're into football, even if you're not sex education, I've heard that's good, but I'm not really into, like, um, shows about, like,
that sort of, you know, how, how do you say it without being rude? Peaky Blinders. That's firstly wasn't made by Netflix. It's not a Netflix original. It was made by the BBC. Okay, let's get that straight. So that's not even right. Wednesday, apparently that's all right. But I'm not going to lie. Like, just, I just don't have the brain capacity for some of these shows. One Piece, that was class das. Fucking really nice bash. I woke up a vampire. Like, that sounds shy. Out of Banks, no idea. Top Boys, decent. The Crown. Oh, yes, The Crown. I'm not going to watch that. Extraction, I'm not seeing them. They look like terrible films that Chris Hemsworth worth just gonna get his roid mummy milkers out the gray man i have seen that i did like that but i wasn't in quite a sober mind so that's might have contributed to the fact i'm not gonna fucking lie how it ends see there's so much drama do you notice they correspond literally they're all the same troll <laughs> troll oh my god look at that <laughs> how much money do you think they spent on making something that looks like that it looks like my it looks like your grandpa when he's had too many whiskeys and his nose gets all big and fat and red let's keep exploring our planet love a bit of david attenborough bro see shit like this this is good if you've seen these documentaries like they are good but i honestly think they are paid by someone to make them and they have like a fixed agenda you know what i mean they make it seem like one thing and then they jump to another and then go to another and then they just say actually none of these things happened it was this very boring drive to survive i actually really like that taylor swift unsurprisingly they won't be watching that Jimmy Savile you should guys should fucking have a gander at that bad boy that's actually pretty fucking horrible shocking stuff and I'm an Englishman I'm a Leeds United supporter as well so every time you're at a game they go Jimmy Savile he's one of your own and it's like he's one of our own we sing back but obviously we don't particularly like him Night Agent that was really good. I have to. I completely forgot about that. I really enjoyed that. No, I talked shit a moment ago, but there are. They do have a couple good things. The Witcher, bro. I watched season one and a half, season two, and it's just it's not all been there, man. I mean, Stranger Things is decent. First two seasons are class. The latest one actually was pretty good as well. Season three was absolute doggy doo doo. It's like that stuff you stand on after your dog's done a massive turd in your garden and you weren't paying attention because you're too hungover. Dude, there's just so much garbage though. How is anyone supposed to watch all this? The ranch. Let's go to the ranch, mama. Rock and roll. I'm Thor. See, instead of buying Netflix when you can just you know, find a dodgy website. I mean, don't find a dodgy website. Why won't you just get like PlayStation Live or something or Xbox Game Pass? You know, you can play all these games, Squid Games. You'll know something actually hilarious. I've never seen it. I've never seen Squid Games. 13 Reasons Why I Shot Myself in the Face. Not seen that. Who is Erin Carter? No clue. Black Mirror. I do like Black Mirror. And surprisingly, I'll tell you what, I do have a... I have a feeling for you. I have to admit, this guy. I do have a special soft spot for this sort of um, show. I've seen it twice. I've not, I'm not seen Season 4 Part 2, I can't lie. So I don't actually know how it ends. But maybe I should. Maybe I should get back on that bad bitch. But anyway, look. It's a funny old world we live in. Netflix is increasing their price, but making their service not better but probably worse they're pumping out more garbage more doggy doo-doo than they've ever been i mean a basic membership you don't get much <laughs> yeah netflix subscribers i'm out of here they, they could just you can't just keep increasing the price of something and not offering more you know they have a few actual mobile games you can get but who wants the mobile game bro who wants to play a mobile game it's nuts they're absolutely sniffing gear and shooting deer like what is going on premium what do you get for premium what do you actually get for premium premium unlimited ad free TV shows watch on four supported devices at any time ultra HD oh my god you get to watch it properly fuck no way that's crazy standard extra member fucking hell standard with ads 6 99 basic is 10 99 so they make you seem like such a boo boo limited ad free but you can only watch one supported device at a time you can download stuff oh my god unlimited ad free music TV shows and mobile games yeah the mobile games are dog muck mate they're fucking terrible they're so bad except one I played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge I used to play that in work every day and I completed it uh, you know instead of doing work obviously it eventually caught up to me but actually it was well worth it it was amazing to say you can play a game like that on your phone these days we live in a crazy time anyway oh spatial audio fuck me they're really pulling out all the guns today aren't they these guys absolutely love us they are king champions kiddie kong king kong I mean I would never buy it with ads I'd never buy it without ads so I think the only thing to do really is Boop!